26 and this is the entrance. They have several fountains throughout the grounds. To read that whole plaque to me about Furman University. All right. Furman University established in 1826 in Edgeville as an academy and theological institution. Furman University was chartered in 1850 and moved to a bluff above the Reedy River in 1851. Named for Baptist minister Richard Furman, a revolutionary war country, the university's first president was his son, James Clement Furman. Its first two-room frame building, Old College, was replaced in 1854 by an Italianate revival main building with an impressive bell tower. The bell tower is what you saw out of front of it. Okay. Its There's bell late. announced Confederate victories during the Civil War and in later years celebrated Purple Hurricane football victories. Oh, instead of Paladin, they were called the Purple Hurricane, the football. Right. In 1958, the university moved to a new suburban campus. Its tree shaded grounds and buildings were raised. The bell tower shopping center now County Square took its place. For oh, goodness sakes. Isn't that the wonderful? Place there and it's just sad when you see uh -huh. it took its place. And that's where you actually... You know, these big old trees. Well, Bill was on that campus and I took some classes over there. Okay. So. All right. You didn't necessarily... All of your classes weren't at the old Not building? Not all of them. I was over at the Warmest Campus, which is where the library and the... Uh, Theater. Okay. Okay. And um, they raised most of those buildings and put uh, an, a nice art museum, an outstanding art museum. There. Well, you know, I'm glad you said that because, um, as far as the women's campus, because I had the idea that you and Bill were not in the same classrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so he You're was correct. here as the men's campus. Well, he actually lived in town, but this was the men's uh -huh. campus that he attended. Okay. And I attended the women's campus, and the first two years you took most of your classes on the women's campus, the women did, and the men did over here. Then for your uh, more advanced courses, they were held on this campus, so they bused us across town oh. to attend those. They actually bused you over to this one for your classes. Right. Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, it's now about 7 in the evening, and we're at 24 Lanou Road. Drive. Drive. Lanou, is that the pronunciation? Lanou Drive. Well, I should remember a few things. <laughs> and this is the home of Margaret and Bill and Ed. And this is a sampling out front of the recent reconstruction and remodeling that they have done. Look at all the flowers. Once you give them something, that's it's right. Up that's right. It was hers to do what she wanted to with it. Yeah, I don't want these gifts that have uh, restrictions, you uh, know. Contingencies yeah. attached yeah. to them. And, no. Uh, Liz, uh, Constance used to do that. She'd bring the children a gift from a travel or something. In here? Well, this is a foyer. And this is absolutely a gorgeous work of architectural engineering. Look at the design of the ceiling there. The wallpaper, the baseboards. The balls. He's probably out back eating the steaks. Yeah. 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 And then Mark, from was the, this the uh, foyer was and this hallway. The uh huh. That was in your. That dad's was a pie safe, right? That was Dad's, that. right? looks very attractive here doesn't it stained glass window and again the hip ceiling effect which is absolutely gorgeous <coughs> that's a beautiful cranberry lamp there behind you on that singer sewing machine and then the formal dining room and there's that platter of the painting you know that he had okay and i see you sent us a postcard up to the barn oh yes uh-huh just beautiful
How small were we last year? From the dining room window? How, how about some tonic water? A little tonic water would be good. Oh, so you got soda water? I've got tonic water. Okay, tonic water would be good. Okay. That'd be good. How's your make out today? Well, well, well we, oh, we made yeah. out really well. I had a beautiful How day. Real all right. Great, great. We've good. just... Good uh, today? It was all right. Work hard? Yeah. The usual. Now, what is it you work? You work for a little uh, civil engineering or yeah. construction? Yeah. Um, we do landscape architecture, civil mm -hmm. engineering, and um, surveying. Oh, great. <coughs> uh, on your I surveying... I've been now for several years. Ago. Yeah. About three or four years. Yeah. Oh, great. On your surveying, do you survey for roads or buildings or just um, anything? Anything. You, we, we, we usually don't survey um, directly, but indirectly. Like if we have a um, job, we have to have surveying done before we can survey. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Now we've had a walk through here, and uh, let me tell you a little bit on this foyer. That's a whole brand new window. Wasn't there before. There was a doorway. Walls have been moved. Walls have been removed. Walls have been rebuilt as well as the ceiling. And uh, all the wallpaper was done by Margaret. All the woodwork painting was done by Bill. All the construction was done by Ed. Right down to the bookcases and all of the good taste in decorative items was a combination. Most of them they already had. And then some of the accessories they've purchased at different places. Now I could take a whole hour and film for you all the beauty of the decorative items. I'll call them decorative items but it still wouldn't do them justice. For instance, there's a china wall. There is a book end that had belonged to my father and mother. computer plate and books about the Civil War which Bill is quite versed on. Even the sconces were selected with very much care. Doing a little duplicate taping here, but Margaret took me through the house describing all the remodeling that they have done and it certainly is not the same house this recessed wall was done with the intent for the sideboard everything with a particular design in mind then after you come through the foyer you can turn to the right and all this closet and linen closet and bedroom our brand new see the natural lighting effect a window even the shutters outside the window were made by Ed because they didn't want to be looking in on the neighbor or the neighbor looking in on them there's Bill Hughes in the Confederate uniform. The wallpaper had a certain intent and environment for the room. And this is really unique, a mirror on a mirror, which gives it a more in-depth look. The sconces, again, were purchased in Atlanta to go with the decor and the intent of the wallpaper and the shower curtain. Everything is coordinated. And then we move to the front bedroom. And this bedroom has a computer set up in it now, which the computer will eventually go down in the basement or in the family room downstairs. There is a shipper robe. Again, windows on windows. 
and the old-fashioned look right down to a bonnet on the washstand. Look at the cut glass, the beveled glass in these doors from the hall entrance into the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen and the kitchen in action. Kitchen in action. All rebuilt, redesigned. Hello, Ed. Well, I tell you, you're the star of the show here. That's all there is to it. Well, go ahead, do a no. dance. <laughs> okay, Mr. Star. Mr. Star, take these down, please. Mm -hmm. You need to get a platter for this. And then, let's go right through here. Let's go right through here. Let's follow Ed. My gosh, yes. He's got the food. This was uh, started out to be a little porch effect, and here it is a whole comfortable, comfortable family room. Again, the bookshelves built by Ed, the paneling, the wallpaper done by Margaret, and the painting of all the wood done by Bill. These lights, uh, a natural lighting effect is wonderful. Another window. Bookshelves. Video shelves. And that is an ironing board. Tucked away in the closet. We're back in the kitchen. That's where the food is. Okay, off the kitchen, all of this was built onto the house. And you wait till you see the workroom. We'll take you downstairs in a few minutes, but first, now this is going to be, uh, this is a picture frame. It will have pictures in it once they have time to get back to giving it that attention. And there are your track lights. They rewired um, the whole house. They put in a whole new heating and air cooling. And this is the master bedroom. And if you want to see something neat, you just watch what I do here in a few minutes. Absolutely mind-boggling to me. The beauty and the coordinating and the wallpaper and the stained glass doors. This is a closet. And, well, I said it was a closet. It's the bathroom uh, with a lot of closet space. And then again, a sink, a double sink. The mirror on mirror. Isn't that neat? The tub, shower, all tiled in. And as well, a commode and a bidet. All hardwood floors throughout the house. But this is the gadget I want you to watch. That is a garage door opener to bring the television up so you can lie in bed and watch television. And when you are finished with the television, all you have to do, turn over, push the button, and there you have a chest. Isn't that absolutely fabulous? This area, as you see, has not been completed as yet. They put in that window, and then Ed again built all of these cabinets. He also put in a fireplace. One of their favorite pictures of a barn scene that has a history to it that they are associated with. You caught me.
And here is Ed's workshop. This is a platform that he lets down from the wall when he needs to have a, an exact level place to work. There's his leveling. And there's his tighteners for gluing something together and putting it under clamp. All mounted on the wall. Have you ever seen anything any better organized than this? A bandsaw, more clamps, saws. Everything in here has a special uh, use. And Ed, in fact, wheelbarrowed dirt out from this portion of this basement and he has built shelving to hold all of his wood and lathing. Again, tool chest. This uh, vent takes the sawdust up from the wood that is being cut, spits it on through the vent to the outside, and is caught by large bags. And this is the new heating and air conditioning system. Okay. This is absolutely delightful. Oh my goodness, you've already grilled the steaks. Now Bill's supposed to be bringing the potatoes. I don't know. Oh. Does he seem to come? He, he had to come chase me out. I was doing a videotaping and he said, come on, come on, come on. See, I don't rely much on him because I'm... Oh, my. Look at that. All the new fencing. Now, these post bills, see the brown top just under the lamps there? That gives it a more rusty effect rather than just oh, putting it right against it that tile. your dish. This is the morning after the night before, and we're getting ready to leave been a very lovely visit with Margaret and Bill. And in fact, uh, when they brought us back from the barbecue at their house, or the cookout, steaks and baked potato and so forth, we came back about 11 o'clock and they came up to the room for a while and it is extremely comfortable. All right, just take that 25 degree wood. 11.30 in the morning and we'll be at Elizabeth's oh, a couple of hours or so. Very leisurely dry. Leaving the Greenville area. See the sunroof on the top? We're using the air conditioning now because it just happens to be 92 degrees here at the rest area. We just crossed the state line and we're in Georgia. Well, I'm filming through the sun porch window here because they don't know it. And what Elizabeth and Bill and I are getting ready to do is take a ride around this housing development on the little golf cart. All right, see, off you can see yourself in a golf right here, see? Right, there you There's are. the three of us in the golf cart. <laughs> Isn't that fun? There will be people moving in there next week. So you come in off the street, off the carport area, you come into a sunroom. Very, very lovely. All windows and light and bright and relaxed. Just sit out here and read and enjoy all the flowers and the activity at the golf course across the way. and your money, honey, and I'll yeah. back the car out for you. Okay. Then when you come off that sunroom, you step into a nice, cool living area. The dinette area, dining room.
kitchen. Oh, very lovely. The door out to the little washroom shed on the back side of the carport. Yeah. Yeah. He left his wife and mother and four children, I think it was. They all lived there at the Quitty City or something, whatever they call it. Hmm. And Quitty is not his real name. He took that uh, from An Arkansas town, wasn't it? I've forgotten what his real name is. Well, what uh, caused his death? Complications from, from uh, stomach surgery. He had an aneurysm. Aneurysm. Oh, okay. It happened. It, 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 okay. He started. It happened, whatever happened mm -hmm. to him on the way home from France. And yeah, his aneurysm was hemorrhaging. Well, you, I love your red, white, and blue. Except I don't see any blue. Where's your blue? Where's your blue? You got a blue purse? <laughs> I love red and white. In fact, uh, Elizabeth, we saw a red and white print yesterday, you know, and I was saying, Elizabeth, I'd love to have a red and white, but I, did, I don't know why I never buy one. But I love it. I don't have a red dress either. Don't you have a red dress? Yeah. Well, we just have to correct that. I've got one. That's I'm photographing of. this gorgeous kitchen. Oh, look at the biscuits in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> and Liz is doing her natural thing, working. Okay. Good morning. How did that pill get down in the, bo in the bottom of this can? The one you want, right on the bottom. Well, when you're ready. All right. <laughs> She'll have to back her car up. After the night before, this is after the breakfast that we just finished off in grand style. See you Tuesday, human. Uh, okay. This is a well-maintained She's thinking maybe Julian put those mm -hmm, that know. little bouquet on there. Yeah, I don't know. October the tenth, nineteen oh two, May twenty eighth, nineteen eighty four. That's eight years ago. A little better than eight years now. Time gets away. Yep, time gets away. Bellevue Memorial Gardens. He led a good life and he is at peace. He's a good man, a good father.